President Trump and Melania insist on personally awarding Purple Heart to Afghanistan veteran after being so moved by his bravery as they visit military hospital President Donald Trump marked his first visit to a military hospital with wife Melania Trump in order to award a Purple Heart to an Army sergeant. Trump said he was so moved by the story of Sergeant First Class Alvaro Barrientos, who was wounded in Afghanistan on March 17, that he wanted to do the honor himself. Melania stood by her husband's side at the visit to Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, outside Washington, on Saturday. Before pinning the award on Barrientos, Trump remarked, When I heard about this, and I wanted to do it myself. The occasion marked Trump's first visit as president to the military hospital. Barrientos, whose right leg below the knee had been amputated, was wheeled into a hospital atrium in a wheelchair, accompanied by his wife, Tammy. He was injured when an Afghan soldier opened fire inside a base in the Helmand province and wounded three U.S. soldiers, reported Reuters. The commander of the U.S. military kissed Barrientos's wife before he bestowed the honorable award to the sergeant's left shirt collar. The Purple Heart is awarded to service members who are wounded or killed in action. Besides Barrientos, Trump was expected to meet privately with about a dozen service members who are receiving care at the medical center. Before leaving the White House, the president tweeted that he looked forward to seeing our bravest and greatest Americans also on Saturday. Trump tweeted that he was looking forward to hosting a big rally in Pennsylvania as he closes out his first 100 days as President of the United States. The billionaire businessman previously announced he would be skipping the annual White House Correspondents' Dinner and his new rally will be held on the same night of the much-anticipated event on April 29. The excursion to Maryland allows Trump to escape from Yet another protest held in Washington, D.C. over his administration's environmental policy. Scientists in the nation's capital took to the streets along with students, research advocates and celebrities to push back against what they say are mounting attacks on science, including research budget cuts by Trump. The March for Science, coinciding with Earth Day, was anchored in Washington and set to be mirrored in 500 other cities and attractive celebrities including Bill Nye the Science Guy and Doctor Who actor Peter Capaldi. In other news of scandals that seem to follow the president, he has come under fire for meeting in secret with two former presidents of Colombia at his Mar-a-Lago estate over the Easter weekend. In between family time and Easter service, Trump had an undisclosed, informal meeting with former Colombian presidents Alvaro Uribe and Andres Pastrana. It was confirmed by the White House on Thursday. Colombian media outlets pointed the finger at Florida Senator Marco Rubio for arranging the quick chat, but he denied those accusations in an interview. It was revealed on Saturday. Rubio said, No, I didn't have anything to do with that meeting. I'm a big fan of President Europe. I didn't even know he was in Florida. And beyond it, I would say to you, I don't see what the problem is. According to the White House, the meeting was just a brief encounter with Trump as he walked by the two men. A spokeswoman told the Miami Herald. They were there with a member from the club and briefly said hello when the president walked past them. There wasn't anything beyond a quick hello. Fears have grown about who has access to President Trump, as even the White House made it seem that members of the $200,000 membership resort could happen to have undisclosed talks with Trump. The undisclosed meeting comes on the heels of the White House announcing that they would not be releasing the visitor logs of who meets with the president, it said last week Friday. White House Communications Director Michael Dubke told Time that the decision was due to the grave national security risks and privacy concerns of the hundreds of thousands of visitors annually. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer told DailyMail.com during Tuesday's press briefing that the administration wasn't quite prepared to announce how it would handle visitor log records. Please.